folks, I'm Mark Smith, host of the Four Boxes Diner, constitutional lawyer, member of the United States Supreme Court Bar, and proud American gunner with huge news here out of California. I usually don't break news, but on this one, I'm going to because it's such a big deal, and we've talked a lot about it on this channel. That is, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in California has decided today that 18 to 20-year-olds have a constitutional right to keep and bear arms under the Second Amendment. I repeat, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals in California has said that 18 to 20-year-olds have a right to keep and bear arms under the Second Amendment, and this is important because the way they did it, among other things, is they showed the text, the history, and the tradition of the right, and that 18 to 20-year-olds actually were critically important, for example, winning the Revolutionary War and for having firearms to bring to militia duty at the time of the founding. Now, this, the, the Ninth Circuit, let me tell you specifically about this law. So the Ninth Circuit essentially pointed out that California law, I'm not going to get into all the details here, all you need to know for the purposes of constitutional analysis is this, that it was essentially an absolute ban on 18 to 20-year-olds being able to acquire to purchase semi-automatic rifles that were center fire. Sounds like an AR-15? Sounds like something like that, doesn't it? A center fire semi-automatic rifle were basically verboten, meaning you could not acquire them or purchase them if you were 18 to 20 years of age. The Ninth Circuit said that in order to exercise a Second Amendment right, to have the right to keep mirror arms, you need to be able to acquire them or purchase them. And this essentially denied 18 to 20 year olds who have a constitutional right to keep mirror arms the ability to acquire these guns. Now, I'm also going to say uh, that this was a two to one decision. The two judges in the majority, there was three judges, the two judges in the majority were both appointed by Donald J. Trump as president. And the Third judge, strangely enough, was sitting by designation from New York. Don't ask me how that occurs, but from the Southern District of New York, that third judge actually wrote a dissent saying basically that this law that prohibited uh, the acquisition or purchase of firearms by 18 to 20 year olds was perfectly fine under the Second Amendment. But the majority said no. Now, this is really important because I think that that after the, the, the Supreme Court decides Nye Serpa versus Bruin, there's an excellent chance the Second, the second Amendment we heard again and again before the Supreme Court. And I think that 18 to 20 year olds is a great area for the Supreme Court to develop the case law because it's pretty clear if you go back to the founding, 18 to 20 year olds were not just allowed to have firearms, the right to keep and bear arms, they were actually required to do so because they had to serve in the militia. And remember the way the militia worked at the founding of America, you brought your own firearms and your own ammunition to militia service. So whatever you had on the farm, in your house, in normal American life at the time of the founding is what you brought with you to militia service. There was not this distinction between military and civilian. They were blended together when it came to the militia. Now, I also want to say, and again, I have the 140 page opinion here that I'm trying to get through. It's very long. It's very complicated, but I'm cutting to the chase. So, you know, the highlights, I will also let you know that the other interesting thing is that the ninth circuit has this types of scrutinies. They have strict scrutiny and tiers of scrutiny and intermediate scrutiny. Now, I've told you before on this channel, and I want you to remember this, whenever you hear the word tiers of scrutiny, strict scrutiny, intermediate scrutiny, you should say as a gun owner, this is bad. Why is that? Because scrutiny, tiers of scrutiny, intermediate scrutiny, and strict scrutiny are metaphors. They're euphemisms for balancing away your rights. It allows judges to balance the importance of you having a Second Amendment right against the state's interest in denying you that right. That is not acceptable under constitutional law, but that is what various anti-court or anti-gun courts like the Ninth Circuit historically have done. So what's important here is that this Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals panel actually went ahead and applied tiers of scrutiny because that was the precedent in the Ninth Circuit. That's why they had to do it. And they applied both strict scrutiny, which is the highest level scrutiny that the government has to satisfy and also intermediate scrutiny is which is what they usually apply when you don't like guns to second amendment cases and this court said that even if you apply strict scrutiny or intermediate scrutiny it doesn't matter that this law that prohibited 18 to 20 year olds from being able to acquire semi-automatic sem, uh, semi-automatic center fired rifles violated their second amendment rights in all instances whether under strict scrutiny or intermediate scrutiny and of course we know under text history and tradition it would also violate that standard as well so no 
matter what standard or criteria was applied. So anyway, here's the bottom line. You should be happy today because this ruling from the Ninth Circuit that 18 to 20 year olds, even if you're not 18, 19 or 20 years of age, it's very important because it shows that you have a court in America, in California no less, that says not only do 18 to 20 year olds have a constitutional right to keep and bear arms, it also says, and this is equally important, equally important, it says that effectively a ban on Ready? Semi-automatic center fire rifles is unconstitutional. Why should you care? Because that is a signal. It is a signal to what? That AR-15 bans, because AR-15s and AR-15 style firearms are semi-automatic center fire rifles. It's a signal that the Ninth Circuit is thinking that bans on AR-15s would be unconstitutional as well under the Second Amendment. Okay, I hope you learned something here today at the Four Boxes Diner. And if you haven't subscribed to the Four Boxes Diner, please do so, we really would appreciate it. And so, with the Second Amendment. Orders up, table 2A.